Good morning and welcome to Surat. It is about 9 o'clock in the morning. We are on our way to breakfast. We're going to have, it sounds like an authentic, either Gujarati breakfast or Surati breakfast. What are we doing? Surati breakfast. Surati breakfast. And you said this breakfast is unique to this area only, correct? Yeah, you, you get it only in Surat. If you want to try this meal, you have to come here only. Yeah. <laughs> we are trying to cross the street to get to sugarcane juice and it's like a death trap. So scary. <laughs> so we ordered, the food took literally maybe eight seconds and it was finished. So what is the name of this? Locho. Locho. And yeah. what is it? It looks like spicy onion and then, I don't know, what is it? Kind of, uh, what we call lentils. What, what is the oh, things on top? It's sale. Sale? Sale, yeah. <laughs> and this just looks crazy. Let me dive into a... Wait, you should mix it. And then this is probably spicy, yeah? Yeah, not much. You can try Yeah, you... It, not, it, it, it when she not says it's good. not much spicy, not very spicy, that means my tongue is gonna fall off. <laughs> wow, that's good. It's spicy, even without the spicy sauce. God, what is that taste? I don't know. This might be a whole nother spice that I have never experienced yet. Yeah, this is different. We call it salty and khatta. It's like something mixed between Play-Doh and potatoes together and that's the texture that I'm experiencing. So this particular dish is a surati dish? Surti. 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 I don't know, is that okay? Yeah, yeah, perfect. That's okay? I'm almost Indian. We've been driving for a long distance. Where are we going? Nepal? Yeah, just another like three or four miles. We've seen all sorts of interesting things along the way. Even dogs that don't want to move out of the road. Dogs are everywhere. On one side of the road, the airport. On the other side, sleeping cows. Midri was just saying that the airport closed for over a year because of cows. Somehow a cow or cows damaged the engine of the plane that operates here and they had to shut everything down yeah. for a very long time. That is crazy. So we're driving through India's haunted area. Second haunted place. Second yeah. most haunted. Area. The businesses, why are they I all closed? I think it's, it's very early for them. Ah, so at, at, in the evening they all open up? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. That'd be a cool place to... People okay. uh, used to come here like beach side in the evening. The beach? This is a beach? No, oh. after this. Oh. Yeah. Tomato Deep inside. Tomato? Yeah, they fry tomato with some flour, yellow lentil. And this is with uh, yellow flour and potato. This is made with onion. We can just dip in this. Yeah, what is this, this is called chutney. And you can call it curry too. We're gonna try the tomato. I don't like tomatoes, but we will try. I'm guessing it's gonna burn my tongue off. Not spicy. Feels like I just ate lava. <laughs> that is the hottest thing I've had in India so far. That is super hot. Wow, it's delicious. Like I'm already sweating and I cannot feel my tongue. And you don't think this is spicy at all? No, not at all. Mm, that one wasn't. The second one wasn't. So whatever was in the first one, that was insane. Onion? Onion, yeah. All right, let's try the onion. I don't like onions either, but I'll right, try it. Mm, right, that's good though. Basically like an onion ring. Yeah, that's good. That, that works. That works, I like that one. This is a what what? Potato. Oh, potato. Potato is very thin. In fact, the breading on the outside is probably just as thick as the potato. The first bite that I had, that tomato, was incredibly hot, but the rest? No, it's good. What do you think? So I'm learning about the culture here, and I, it's just difficult for me to understand. So basically, I've noticed that people have a blank stare on their face a lot, meaning like I will approach them or walk up or walk past just random people and just offer like a kind smile, like we just happen to make eye contact and so I just kind of smile, right? I think that's normal. I wouldn't say it's a big smile, just kind of like a small smile. That's kind of what we do in the United States, well, in other parts of the world. But here, no, you said that you can't really smile. They don't want to smile. Inside, maybe they're happy, but- Inside, they are happy. 
but they don't offer a smile back because it potentially indicates like a signal, a signal like of some type saying I'm interested in you or something like that so it's a very different thought than we would have a smile is just a smile whether I smile at a man a woman a woman smiles at me or a man smiles at me it's just there's nothing it's just we are both kind hearted to each other for a split second nothing more than that but here apparently a smile means something so I have to be careful I guess I don't know yeah well I want I, I just randomly make eye contact with some people and you offer a smile and they offer none in return so they look at you just with this blank stare and you're like Oh, so maybe they don't like me. Maybe they like hate me. Maybe I'm in the wrong space. Maybe that's a signal that I should leave. That's kind of what we feel. Like, yeah. like if they don't like if I smile at someone and they don't smile back, they just offer a blank stare. I feel like I'm not welcomed and I should leave right now because they don't want me here. That's, no, that's, it's not like that. Yeah. They are happy inside. They are happy inside. It's but, not like that definitely not the feeling that we Westerners get. It means like, you aren't welcome here. Like, you should go. And so, it's kind of awkward. Have you been here before? A beach to what? Like, what? what is What is this? A beach to where? No water. Yeah, but like, what water is this supposed to be? Is this like a, a lake or what? No, it's a beach only, but there is no water. I'll check my phone really quick. I don't even know where I'm at right now. I'm gonna figure out what body of water should be here because if you look there's like nothing behind me as far as you can see it's just dirt with moisture if you were interested and wanted to google a thing called hazira creek h-a-z-i-r-a -A, hazira creek so apparently this is a creek but it's huge can you read it again what does this say yeah, this is crazy garbage in dustbin and uh, don't bring outside food here don't eat tobacco here and uh, after the snacks, uh, put your dishes in the dustbin. Don't spit here, spit. not even with water. Yeah, like so... Water goggles. And don't use bad words here. Yeah. Not even like <laughs> No. <laughs> oh, see, you're gonna it's get a fine. Hard. So, this is Be so... Be modest. <laughs> yeah, this is so weird to me. So, I think the one that stands out the most is don't throw your garbage, but yet... Have you seen where I'm walking? Uh, you've seen the videos already. It's uh pretty intense with some trash here. Don't chew tobacco and don't litter and don't swear. We're in a swear-free zone. So we sat down for some chai, we met some pretty cool people. They were speaking your language more than mine, but it sounds like the plan that was you and I were going somewhere in town this evening and they happened to live there and so they invited us to their yeah. place while we're there anyway. He invited you at his home or office. Okay. Yeah. For a drink, I thought they yeah, said. For drink and food. Yeah. Like his family cool. So yeah, if, if our schedule kind of works out that way, then I'm okay with it. I don't know what we have planned. And then as we were leaving, they paid for the chai tea. They were very kind, so. Yeah, yeah, was, cool people. They yeah, they were fun. They were fun. <laughs> what do you think about the dinosaur? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. I just like them. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Uh, what is this? Is this a park? Yeah, a park where there's places and benches to sit on that are underwater and you can't really... I mean, you can swim to the bench to sit. <laughs> After you swim out into this area, you can play on the tires, the, the play tires. So, hmm. it's a little bit uh, wet here, I think. So, Maitri, she says that she thought there'd be water here, but there's no water. A lot of rocks, no water. You want to go swimming out here? Where would I swim? In the puddle, in the small, dirty puddle. <laughs> no, no. Huh? Okay. I guess not we're not gonna go swimming. At all. Huh? Not interested at all. Yeah, we may we'll go in clean and come out brown. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so tell me a little bit about what we ordered. So you said this is completely authentic, yeah? Yeah, and 
the order the soupy and the North Gujarati Katravadi mix with. Okay. So can you explain what some of these things yeah, are? Yeah. We have all I see it is a sauce and a bread and more sauce. This is garlic chutney. Okay. This is garlic chutney. This is roasted brinjal and then they made it uh, like vegetable, like we call in India sabji. Yeah. In Gujarati sak. And this is khichdi. This is proper Gujarati dish. And this is sev tomato. And this is curry. Okay. Light curry and this is bajri or okra. This that looks is very amazing. old, one of the oldest dish of Gujarat. Wow, well, that's cool. This is buttermilk. Buttermilk? Okay, well, interesting. I'm I'm excited to try this. Just start with this. You will know. So why start with this one? I don't know what I'm doing. Very good. It's not spicy. Please don't tell that. Mm -hmm. Not spicy. <laughs> spicy with flavor. Is it nice? Mm -hmm. Are you good? Very good. You should try this bread. This bread too? I love bread. Bread is amazing. And then which one is next? That you need to eat with this. Not with Together this. or just one or the other? This is for curry. You can eat with this. So I don't eat this? This is not with bread. No idea. How do you know? Why not? No. It will not taste good. I'm gonna try. <laughs> but first I'll do what you say. So this? You would love that. This is the weirdest taste. <laughs> It tastes. <laughs> it tastes like cigarette butts. No joke. It tastes like you smoke a cigarette. It's finished at the very end of a cigarette. Eat that. That's the flavor. But it's that and another flavor together which makes this okay. That one is spicy. My mouth is a little bit hot right now. It's good. It's very good. And then so you don't use this. I'm gonna do it. Don't look. Apparently, you're not supposed. To. You're not supposed to do this? I don't know why. It's good. I just invented something in India. Did I just break a rule? I think I broke rules. Yeah, Gujarati tradition. I broke Gujarati tradition. <laughs> this is fine. buttermilk. It's like a yogurt and milk together. Yeah. And it's so. kind of tangy. Oh, and then there's one more thing. I dip it in here and I dip it in the milk. Yeah, oh, yeah, thick, huh? That was amazing too. That's like a milky gingerish taste. Yeah, it's good. This is amazing. I could literally eat this every day of my life. Maybe I'll stay in Surat forever. Wow. <laughs> Maitri's favorite food is onion. She's going to eat it like apple slices. Yeah? No, no, no. I hate <laughs> onions. <laughs> so far, what do you think about the meal? Is it good? Is it bad? Yeah, it's good. So we just finished up the Gujarati or Surati. What is it? Gujarati yeah. lunch. We actually met the people who were at the beach and they, they paid for our tea. Uh, they actually met us here at the restaurant. Now we're following them to his office. They were kind enough to pay our bill when we were eating Gujarati food. I don't know why, I don't understand Indian culture, but everybody seems to be so kind and generous. We're just kind of going with the flow and uh, not sure what's happening. So somehow we wound up in a dessert shop and I'm going to try this. What is this? What is the name? Jum Jum. Jum Jum. If you're from Vietnam, not that Jum Jum but this jum jum, Indian jum jum. So I don't know, but I'm going to try. Mm, very cold. Mm, yeah, it's good. Not very sweet, which is good. And the bread is like this firm, firm bread. Okay, cool. So we just finished up. We actually went to a place and had dessert, uh, tried a couple different unique desserts. And uh, what do you think? Were they good? Yeah, yeah. it was awesome. So. It's so yummy. They took us up stairs to his office. Turns out he, uh, he owns an English center type of thing and he wanted me to teach for him. So we stopped for a moment at a grave site that appeared to be from... Uh, 16th century. Yeah, the 16th century. Yeah. Very old buildings, very beautiful buildings. Uh, structures, I should say. Basically grave sites and mausoleums. And this traffic just never gets old. We entered a big lake a park that's less than five years old, I guess. It's a big lake you can walk around. It's interesting, we walked in, I don't know if you can see, there's like a, kind of like a slum neighborhood over there. So cool, we walked through there, the people were interesting. We met some people we walked past and there was one woman who kind of talked to us a little bit in, in Hindi. Then we came to this lake, we're walking around. There was a, a, a little boy who came up to me and he wanted to take a selfie with me. And I said, ah, do you have a phone? He says, yes, and he had to go get it from his family. He had like a fam, a big family, and they all wanted to take individual selfies with me, and then I just said one big group photo, 
and so they came. We had a little photo shoot that was interesting. I'm not allowed to film this area, so I think I'm taking a risk by actually talking right now. So anyway, things are weird. But yeah, today has been awesome. We literally have been exploring all day. I'm very tired. Anyway, I'm going to sign off and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and remember, your time is running out. Start living. Take care.